It's finally here, guys. It's finally here. The hype has arrived, and Imperia Part 2 is on live. Welcome, guys. And yes, that's it. Imperia Part 2 is finished. They are done. That's it. But how is it going? My name is Sizzle RJ, or Richard Unicorn Caller, as you know and love. <laughs> Richard Unicorn Caller, he's ready for Imperial Part 2. Basically, we're just going to be going over everything that has changed and happened in Imperial Part 2, and all that good stuff. So, let's get right into it. So, as of November 28th, on the November 7th, Imperial Part 2 is now released to all the wizards. This update also includes a level cap increase to level 130, new pets, and quests, gear, crafting recipes, the tree of magic ranked spells, a new whirly burly minigame, and more. Have a look at the update notes and for all the big changes. Alright, here we go. So this is basically the third story arc, or whatever it is, Imperial Part 2, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I played all of it on Test Realm, and it is pretty fun. Now, I will, just as a little disclaimer, when they do update notes, they usually don't give any changes about the boss. I don't know if they just do that to prevent any spoilers or anything. I will say this, and I will be talking about that in the end of all this, but the last boss is a little tough. But anyway, let's get down to the update notes. But Teleby is withering, and Meloria, the raven child, struggles to hang on to life. You have to save them. Obviously, you have to save him. Make sure you defeat Medulla, obviously. And then you can start Imperial Part 2 by talking to Librarian Fitzum in the Arcanum. He's right in the Arcanum, right at the starting area. So here are some of the highlights that the level cap has now been increased to level 130. Do keep in mind of critical decay, and you will have an increase in health a little bit. The gold cap has been increased to 525,000. There are new level 130 henchmen. There's new level 125 jewels for socketing. The new quests are available when you make it to day 12 of your daily assignments rewards. There's new Fellomancy quests, new level 130 PvP gear, and other powerful equipment. And there's also new PvE gear and weapons, new pets to obtain from wandering bosses, new trees of magic rank spells, new crafting recipes, etc., etc., and a new minigame. So, I want to talk about these new spells. So, every school is going to get their own little spell. You can read it right here if you want. I'm not going to go into any more detail about anything. But since I'm a life wizard, I'm going to do it for my life, peeps. The Siren of Life is going to be a rank 11 spell. Now, do keep in mind, on the beginning days, this is actually a rank 12 spell, and it did more healing. But now these are all the spells. They used to take 12 pips, now it only takes 11 pips. But anyway, the rank 11 Siren of Life spell is going to heal a single target for 1,100 healing, and it will also apply a heal overtime, and it will double the amount of healing and heal over time if the target is 25% HP or less. So finally, they they actually um they actually put some more um detail into that because last time <clears throat> last time I got a double healing, I noticed that my um my heal over time was still at like 500 or 300. So like. It seems like they fixed that, so that's actually good. Um, yeah, I'll be the boss of that, though. I'll be the boss of that. Quibon Stelgate's spell cards now display the proper quest box information. Here is the new minigame. This is about the Whirly Burly. It is, I will tell you, it's a little difficult. It's it's a very difficult minigame, at least for me. You really have to think about it. Now, I believe you can only play the Whirly Burly if you're in Velo City. So yeah, the Whirly Burly kiosk is located in Velo City. Anyone that can access the zone has access to the game. Okay, so for anybody that doesn't have Imperial Part 2, uh, you can't do this you can't do this new mini game. So this is just for all the people that are have access to Imperial Part 2. There's new crafting recipes located in the Nimbus Cinderwell. New housing items, equipment, and accessories, ah, accessories, and weapons to craft. NPC Romar has equipment, NPC Vernon. So you have all these stuff that you can now craft. They also have some um, pretty cool stuff. There will be a special boss region boss drop on the main Imperial Part 2 boss. Keep an eye out for that. There will be a special boss regent drop. On the main Imperia Part 2 boss, keep an eye out. 
for that. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. No! <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh, man. Uh, think of the last boss of Imperia Part 2, like, Darkmoor, except it's, like, 20 times harder. Like I said, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Um, combat and loot fix the victory requirement for PvE content, la yada yada yada. So, all these are bugs fixes. Level 30 gear now appears on Brandon, Mistborn, and Unicorn Way. Yada yada yada. Just some, you know, just some other stuff. You know, just the miscellaneous stuff and all that stuff. There's new Phonomancy decals and quests. 20 new Phonomancy. Talk to Annie about that. And thank you, Wizards, for your valuable feedback. You made this final build of Imperial Part 2 a reality. But in reality, that last boss, though, and we gotta talk about the last boss. And like I said, I'm not going to be spoiling anything for the last boss, as a matter of fact. The only thing I will say is that don't believe what you see, alright? When you see his health, don't believe it. It's actually quite easier than that. And even if it does seem easier for some wizards, you do have to keep in mind that not everybody has Malastare gear, not everybody has the best critical, and not everybody has a pet. I mean, if you don't have a pet at this point, you should probably work on that. But yeah, do keep that in mind that not everybody's going to have the best gear in this. Do I expect people to actually beat Imperia Part 2 just because of this last boss? No, I don't. I don't really expect a lot of people to beat it. Just because it's on that difficulty scale of Beastman Fight Club. So if you haven't beat Beastman Fight Club... Yeah, you're in for a pain. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain. The only thing I would have to recommend or give you guys advice on is please make sure you have a proper schedule. This dungeon, not dungeon, but the battle, um, it will take about, like, two hours. I mean, the battle I was in took two hours, or at least an hour. At least an hour at the most, unless you can find a speedrun method. And the only thing else I can recommend is if you have a Jade friend, make sure you call him up because... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to spoil anything. You guys have fun on Test Realm. I will be playing a little bit of it. Not Test Realm. What am I saying? Um, just have fun with Imperial Part 2. See the new gear. See the new spells. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, another side thing is that they also released a Aero Planes bundle in certain stores. Or I, I guess they would give you a code if you participated in the Extra Life charity event of some sort. So they gave out those bundles and I believe that will be purchasable in stores. I'm actually interested to see what um, bundles of that. Not bundle, but gear. If it's something I don't need, then I probably won't get it. But remember, it is going to be in selected stores. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. And yeah, that's it. Welcome to Imperial Part 2, guys. Um, I mean, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And until then, peace out.